Welcome to this new tutorial video for my user marker system mod. The purpose of this mod is to be able to save custom map markers to your user profile for later use and to facilitate sharing map markers to other players and to yourself across time. And I will go through all the features of the mod in this tutorial video. First, to demonstrate, let's place down a few map markers as an example. The marker menu can be opened from your map screen's user marker system tab by pressing the button. Should you wish to save currently placed user map markers that we just placed, type in a name for the marker set into the text field. After naming your set, you can save the markers to your profile by using the Save the Profile button. The idea is to emulate the virtual Arsenal system where you can save your loadouts when you are in the Arsenal. To clear the map of any user placed map markers, you can use the Clear Map button. Notice that this will only clear the map of user placed markers markers placed by the mission maker in the editor or by the curator from the SUSE interface will not be affected. Also, bear in mind that this command only clears the map for your map lo or your map locally. This will not affect other players' maps. To load a marker set from your user profile, first select the appropriate map from the drop-down menu on the right side, this case Altis, and then select Z you wish to load and press the load from profile button. Notice that the markers will be created to the channel that you have selected from the Trotman menu on the left. To demonstrate, let's load this to the side channel. An alternative method compared to using the user profile is to create an array of existing map markers using the create array button. This created array can then be selected using normal text, text commands. I would recommend Control A to select everything since it will be quite long. And you can then use Control C to copy it to your clipboard. You can then paste this to an external document or send it to other players via external means. For example, in this case, I've pasted this into an external text document that I can then save for further use. Conversely, if you have an array copied to your clipboard, you can paste it in to the text field and use the load from array button. To create markers from the array. Should you wish to save, or correction, should you wish to delete a saved marker set from your profile, simply select the set from the left right side, 
and press the delete selected button. This will delete the selected Microsoft from your profile. Should you wish to completely clear your user profile of all Microsofts across all maps, you can use the delete profile button. This will give you an additional warning window to prevent accidental deletions of your profile due to misclicks. Should you wish to proceed, use the select delete profile button, but we are going to cancel here. Close button, obviously close down the menu. And the final button will open up the mod technical documentation in your default web browser. The mod does also include a few add-on options. These can be selected under the Revelis user marker system settings. The first option, when enabled, only allows the placing of map markers during the pre-game briefing screen. When this option is enabled, once you are in the game, all markers placed by the players will get deleted. Once again, if the curator decides to create map markers from the Zeus interface, it will not be affected. I will demonstrate this in a few moments. Secondly, you can choose to disable some of the chat channels, both map markers and voice and text chat using the options listed here. For example, we are going to completely disable side channel. Should you wish to use these channel settings, make sure to have the enabled CBA options enabled as well. If you use other means of controlling chat channel availability, for example server configs or other scripts or mods, then leave all of these settings off, which is their default value. I will now uh, demonstrate how this how these settings work in game. All right, we are now in the pre mission briefing screen. Let us open the marker menu. Notice that side channel is no longer available to us since we chose to disable it from the uh, add-on options. Let us um, load some markers from the array that we still have on our clipboard. And these are now created to our group channel. And now, once we start the game, we can see our markers created during the briefing phase. But we are unable to create new markers during the game, since we chose to um, restrict marker placement only to the briefing phase. Finally, to demonstrate how the curator map markers work. If from the curator interface you choose the markers, these can be placed regardless of restrictions. Thank you for watching. My name is Reveli, and links both to the Steam Workshop page and mod technical documentation can be found in the video description below.